properly um, in the last hour. I have changed changed it. Um, so I'm getting ready to give you a tour of what I've done. I think you guys are really, really going to like the changes that I made. Um, and of course, I will be creating an updated video to... Um, you know, to help you because I love how since we have new so many new people um, coming in, I and since we're changing things, I definitely like to be as transparent and helpful as I possibly can. So I will be creating a new video that way. All the new people, if this is your first time watching, um, then you can know where to find all of the resources. Okay. So the first thing that you need to do anytime you see me go live, I go live Monday through Friday, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, and I go, I do stream to multiple places. So it's really hard to get the questions answered. Um, so what you need to do is click the link in the description. And depending on where you're watching, you may need to um, create a free Builder All account, or you can just click the button below that and log in with your Builder All credentials. If you're in my main group, all you need to do is just click the link. Okay. So the link now, it used to go to our broadcast page, but the link now is actually going to be inside of the e-learning. How cool is this? So let me actually show you, um, you know, what I've done here. Okay. So let me, let me share my screen here. Okay. So here is our normal e-learning, but you'll see we have our broadcast here now, instead of having two different pages. Okay. You can still, um, access all the same resources here. You can click here to join any of the mag five challenges. One thing I did forget though, is our Friday Q and a button. So I'm going to be adding that here because I want to make that as like simple as I possibly can to find and just quickly find. Okay. Um, and then of course you have our course is down here and if you want me to um, text you to let you know when we go live you can text the word live to one for the country code which I'm in the United States um, 317-623-4596 so when you access this page what you need to do is just put in your name there's no logging in there's nothing see there's no login here okay um, all you have to do is just click put their put your name here so you see here is the training that we're doing right now and then of course you can comment here so um, i see jim is here yay um jim said i didn't hang long enough for shelly i guess but i figured you had an urgent um so let me just um let me actually stop sharing here so um, yesterday, I, I'm glad that you brought that up, Jim. Yesterday, um, if most of you know, um, my aunt has not been well. She's been in the hospital. And um, yesterday, we actually took her off life support. So um, Shelly so graciously um, said that she would be happy to present um, the, uh, the presentation and training and stuff that I had prepared. So, um, she's an absolute angel, even behind the scenes. I know you guys know she's an angel, but even behind the scenes, she's an angel. So, um, I have received a lot of messages from you guys and I really am so sincerely uh, appreciative. Um, you know, it is anytime something like this happens, it, it is a hard time for your family. And so, um, if any of you guys are going through that, my my deepest, uh, sincere, um, condolences. Um, and so I definitely do appreciate the, um, prayers and well wishes and good energies or, um, whatever you believe. So definitely, um, appreciative of all of that. So, um, let's see, Ray says, hello, Ray, uh, hello from Tampa. Hey, Ray. I'm so jealous. It's cold here. Um, Jim says, sorry to hear of her passing. She's actually not technically passed yet. Um, you know, we, she's comfort measures and, um, I guess, uh, when they, when they make them comfort measures, you know, it's basically, they stop treatments. Um, that was something that was, uh, a hard decision for some family members to make, which it is a hard thing. I worked in a hospital for 20 years, so I get it. Um, it's a very hard decision to make. And so, um, when she, uh, we, that decision was finally made, um, you know, we actually got to spend some time with her and things like that. And, um, and so if she is not passed by Friday, they will remove the, um, breathing tube because that's really the only thing that's keeping her alive. Her brain's not really there. Uh, my personal opinion is that she's, uh, her spirit has moved on. 
So um, anyway, let's not get all depressing and all of that right now. Let's talk about site bots because that's what I was going to talk about yesterday. And, um, you know, I and I am sorry that I didn't let you know. I just kind of was like, uh, I just suddenly need to go. So um, so that's why I was not in the training yesterday. I'm so sorry about that. Um, and Jim, Shelly didn't do my daily live training. What um, what? I was talking about that she filled in was our challenge, our e-learning challenge. So if you guys are new to my group, um, I am part of the Mag5 and we actually are niche marketing specialists for Builderall. So we do challenges once a month. This month is actually an e-learning challenge. Last month was about creating a coaching business. The previous month was about how to build an e-learning um, or not how to build an e-learning, how to build an email list. So if you click here, you actually get access to the MAG5 um, challenges. So when there is one going on, um, you'll see here that we have, you know, the, the, the countdown once we um, are, you know, once we are ready for the next one and then you'll be able to access the previous um, mag5 challenges here now um, the cool thing about Builderall is that these trainings are free, okay? There's no, like, upsells. You don't have to be, you know, get the tools, and then you're a, a member. You have to, like, upsell to the train. It's, like, it's nothing like that. If you are a member of Builderall, even a free member, you get access to all of this training. And it's really easy um, to figure out why they do that because, uh, we know that if you come into Builderall, not only are we going to teach you to use the tools, but you're going to see the extreme value in the tools. So the tools sell themselves. Um, it is just our job to give you not only um, the knowledge to use them, but also the strategy. And so that's where um, a lot of platforms, you know, there's nothing like Builderall. Builderall is the only one who has a Mag5. So Jim says... Um, no worries, Mag5 is awesome. Well, I think so, but I'm kind of partial. Um, so anyway, and if you are a free member and you want to find out how to become a premium member so that you get unlimited access to all 40 plus tools, you can click here, okay? So anyway, having set all of that, let's actually get into creating a site bot. Now, I am not a site bot. Sorry, I'm, I'm talking and, and moving this stuff around. Um, so I am not a site bot genius. Okay. That is Wasili. He is the site or I call him the chat bot King. Um, that's actually what I called him first time I met him, but, uh, he is great at site bots. But what I want to show you today is how to create a simple site bot for a client. And what I like to do since I'm not a site bot expert and I really don't feel comfortable, um, creating site bots like real big ones because, um, I'm just not that familiar and, and you'll probably find out when I'm training you, but I'm doing this live. I love to just kind of troubleshoot things with you guys um, as we go through. But I just wanted to show you, this is an actual client that I currently have right now. He has given me permission to, you know, share things about his business or whatever. Um, but uh, let's see. Let me expand this a little bit. Um, so this is his his actual website that I created. Um, and you'll see that he has this site bot here. Okay, this is a builder all website. Um, but this is uh, something that is so super simple, but I want to show you how cool it is and how impressive it is. Okay, so um, it just basically the purpose of a site bot is to answer the most common questions so that people, you know, even though this information is already on the website, um, we just want to make sure that people get basically uh, like the cliff notes version, like the major pain points or the top questions. Uh, we want to answer those. Okay, so I like to do three buttons and then get some info here like I did you know here's their logo of course we have all of their branded colors so if they're looking for the hours and location they can click here and you'll see uh, another window pops up and gives all that info but here's the thing with site bots you have to remember you always need to give them the a chance to go back to where they originally came from otherwise um, you know that's called like getting caught in a loop so there's like no um, you know they're stuck there's nowhere to go so you always want to click back um, and then maybe maybe they see the location they're like oh they're in my area okay I'll go ahead and transfer my prescription so when they click transfer prescription then it goes to their um, 
their form to fill out their prescription. So this is all very detailed information. And this is just simply a contact form um, that I've put on a box. And then when they click here, though, it actually goes to their printer, which is really cool. When, when I first talked to him about how he wanted to get all this set up, he's like, well, I really want to be faxed. And that's common in pharmacy. They get faxed the prescription. <laughs> but um, it was actually, uh, to be honest, I didn't really know how to set up a fax machine and do all of that. And it's like, we want to please our client, right? So um, I just created a contact form. And then I figured out that you can actually, every Wi-Fi printer has an email address. And you can look at that um, just by looking at your printer. You can go through the settings. It'll tell you what the email address is. So what I actually did is I just created this contact form with all the information that they need, um, you know, which is more than an email marketing because they need a lot of very specific information. So when they fill out this contact form, all of that info, instead of going to their inbox, it actually prints at their printer. Okay, so that's a really cool thing. You know, if you guys didn't know that, it's a really cool um, option that will really wow your client. Now, he um, that was a huge, huge thing for him. And he was actually looking for other alternatives of ways to get all of that set up. And it was going to cost several hundred dollars. But because we have the ability to just do the contact form, email to his printer, and then he can get the same result. He was overly ecstatic about that. Okay, so because I love to over deliver, I created this website for him and I actually um, just put the site bot on here for free. So he had no idea I was going to do that. Um, it was just a, a major bonus. And of course, to a client, they think that, oh my gosh, that must have taken hours. Must have been really hard to do. Um, but it actually was not. And it really gives a good impression. Okay, so um, now let me show you what the actual, the back end of this looks like. Okay, so this is the back end end of this site bot. Now you'll see there's only one box here with three buttons and then there's another box here uh, with just the go back. Now there's this little delay thing here and what this means, um, this is basically what prevents you from getting caught in a loop, okay, or, or um, where they're just kind of like they hit a dead end. There's no way for them to get back. So you can actually create this delay um, and this is actually half of a second delay. So as soon as they click a button, um, it you see that it's connected here to this delay. These two buttons are. And then, um, and then it will go back to this section, okay? So that's how this works. And we're, I'm gonna actually just build a simple one for you. I just wanted to show you what a completed one looks like before we actually go into um, creating it because I think this is simple, um, but it can, it can be very intimidating, okay? If you don't know, really, it's just like three things, okay? So um, let's actually just close out of this and I'm gonna show you how to get in there. So what we're gonna do is just go to email and engagement, and you'll see that we have a messenger chatbot, and then we have a website chatbot. Messenger uses Facebook Messenger to build a chatbot. But I honestly, um, if you guys know at all about how Facebook blocked my account or deleted it and all of this stuff, um, I am not a fan of Facebook. And I honestly don't like that they um, control so much um, information. And um, I think that it really looks, I mean, what would you guys think if you were filling your prescription and you saw they had a Facebook chat bot there? I would be thinking, why are they using Facebook? Facebook. That's social media. That's just like, to me, that would seem weird. That would seem unprofessional. But this seems much more professional. So um, definitely want to um, use, especially for like a brick and mortar business, I would definitely recommend using the website chatbot. But the messenger chatbot is really great, especially if you're in network marketing and you want to start a conversation on your Facebook page um, through messenger. And then you can actually, um, you can start that conversation and then send them to the website. And then you can continue that conversation through that same messenger. So, um, or you can automate it with the chatbot. So um, whatever your purpose is, it's great. Again, we have the option. So let's actually just go to website chatbot. And the first thing we want to do is uh, create a new flow. But let me show you this, though. Um, this is a very basic 
basic uh, layout, but don't let that fool you with the power that this is, okay? And one thing that confused me is I came over here and I was like, okay, I want to like go back to, I want to check out this flow here, but I couldn't really figure out, like I thought it was this, but that only changes the name and I'm like, where is it? And what you have to do is actually click here. So you have to click the name if you want to get back into one you've already created. Now, if I wanted to create a brand new one, I could just go to website chatbot and then create new flow. And then I give it a name. And once I do, it'll be here. But I'm actually, um, I never actually finished this. So let's just go ahead and let's see what we can come up with here. Okay, so we'll say that is that the name is fine. Let's click here. So um, the, you have many options. And again, um, I am not an expert at this, but you can go to the knowledge base here and you can type in, let's try it, bot. And if you guys, here's another tip. If you guys are looking for something in the knowledge base, try to use as many or as few words as possible. Like you see, I didn't type out website chat bot or whatever. I just typed in bot because any I want anything that has to do with a bot. So you'll see here how to capture leads in your bot, um, getting started with site bots. So there's lots of training depending on what type um, that you're using. And I think actually um, getting started with the site bot while Sealy did the training and he is definitely the one you want to learn how to do site bots for. But like I said, you could do this today for clients and they will be wowed by this. Okay. So what I need to think of are basically, I just want to keep this as simple as possible. So what am I going to type in my first box here? Okay. So this is my, my first box. Um, what's going to be my message? I'm just going to say, hello, thank you for contacting me. How can I help? Okay, so now I have my first box and you'll see I can um, I can upload a image here um, like I did with the logo or I can add from a URL um, like a YouTube link. So let's actually let's just upload an image here. Let me search through. I'll just find an image of myself. So I'm going to go Google and profile pic. And I have many, many. So let's just use this one. Okay, so that's good enough. Um, definitely want to spell hello correctly because that would be unprofessional. Um, let's see. So here's what it looks like so far. Um, so our first button is high. Obviously, we don't really want high. Um, so let's say, um, let's say text. Actually, so I'm, I'm saying, how can I help? Okay, so what I want to do is answer this question in the, again, I'm brainstorming because I, I love to just do this real time with you guys. Um, so, hello, thank you for contacting me. How can I help? So, let's say, um, start a business. Let's see if I can type. Or how about this? Um, hire me. Okay. So now um, I, I have this main text here. I have the text on my first button. Okay. So, um, you know, again, I added the image. You can align the text differently here uh, if you want to move it to the right, but actually um, it doesn't look like it's really moving that much for some reason. Um, let's see what this does. You can add some emoticons there if you want to. Um, but again, I don't want to get too detailed in this because you guys can click around and I mean, it literally, I watched Wasili's video and then within like 45 minutes I had my chat bot completely created for the first time so um, and I'm by far from an expert um, so here you can add emoticons you can trash this or you can add um, something else here we have a step or a link so if you want to add a an additional step like we did um, where we had that third option here with the directions you could choose that. But if I'm saying hire me, um, maybe I want to just go to a different page on my website where they can contact me to hire me. Or maybe I want to go to the services tab. So let's see. Let me type in my website here. Visual marketing. I guess if I just typed in the business. Okay. 
Um, so I actually have a services tab on my website. So if I wanted to just paste this here, if they wanted to hire me, um, then that will direct them there. Okay, so maybe the next button I want to add is um, work with me. Okay, so um, now this one, maybe it's going to be for freelancers who want to work with me, right? So maybe I want to, um, let's see, maybe I want to go here. Oops. Maybe I want to go here um, where they can actually get information about coaching and, and build a role and all that fun stuff. Okay, so again, since I'm going to use a link instead of a step, I'm just going to go ahead and paste that here. Now, if I wanted to add a step, um, technically, if I wanted them to text me with questions or something like that, let's go ahead and add a button um, for, let's say, um, questions. Or let's say, um, not sure. Text me. Okay, so maybe here I wanted to add a step so that um, they get my number to text me. Now I do have a URL that they can use, but let's just for the example of showing you a step, um, I can go ahead and add that. Now, let's see, um, do we want to maybe add a button? No, that's not what I want to do. Um, add a step and I think, is it this? No, I think it, okay, here's what it is. When you add a step, sorry guys, when you add a step, um, you have to add one of these things, okay? So do you want to um, add a text message, meaning like the, uh, the, this step is going to be a just text, nothing else? Do you want to add buttons? Do you want to add a text answer? Um, do you want to add a date and time and a phone number? And uh, you can even add like an email um, where you they enter in their email, it integrates with Mailing Boss. Um, let's see, you can do a phone number here if you want to capture their phone number. You can add conditions here. So like I said, it can be as complicated as you want it to be or as advanced as you want it to be. But um, again, I don't even know how to use all these features. So it's definitely not necessary that you have that okay so I don't want to really um, confuse you with all of these other options but I definitely think it's important to know that you do have the option of adding all of these really cool things so let's go ahead and just delete this so I'll say yes and then we'll delete this and say yes Okay, and now we have this text box here. Um, so I could put in the text box. Let's hit, click here um, to start editing. I could add an image here. Again, I could align it and, and all of those things. But um, let's just say text me at uh, 1317-623-4596. Okay, so let's say that I wanted this to be um, where I wanted to send them to, okay? But I think I can also add a button here. So let me see, add a button. Okay, so actually let's do this. Let's delete this. Um, where is the trash? Okay, oh, delete selected, okay. So um, let's say this. So text me at 1317-623-4596. Okay, and now um, we will add a link here to the button, right? So um, we'll say click here to text. And then we'll say we'll add a link here and um, let's see, actually, I don't even remember. Oh, here we go. It is this one. I will just type in this and dot com and text. OK, so now we have our phone number here and we also have a way for them to just click the button to text us. OK, um, so now we have two steps. All right. Now we need to figure out how 
do we answer? So we already have the answer to this question, okay? So we already have the answer to this question because we attached a link there, right? But for this question, we have uh, this next step we want to send them to. Now also, like I showed you in the um, my client site bot, we also need to still send them back here, okay? So uh, what we're going to do is actually add a delay. Okay, so you'll see here's the little delay like I showed you before, and you can choose in seconds um, how long of a delay do you want it to be. So I'm just going to choose like half of a second because I really want it to be immediate. All right. So what I'm going to do is now I'm just going to make a line from this button to this button. Actually, now that I'm thinking about this. I don't want it to go there, so I'm just going to click there to delete. So I need this to go here, and I need this to go here, okay? Because if they click this, it's going to send them off to another link, but I want this there because I want on this screen, so it's going to open up a window, and it's going to send them to the other page of my website, but if it opens up in a new page, I still want them to be able to work their way through the site bot, okay? So that's why I'm putting that delay. I hope that that makes sense to you guys. Let me refresh the screen here on our um, in our e-learning, which you guys let me know. How cool is that that you could go live in the e-learning? Oh my gosh. And it's not even that hard. I'm going to actually teach you guys this. Okay, so... Um, so here we have now this step, okay? So we need to actually add this step here. So um, what we can do here though is add a button because again, so they click here, they go to another website, but this action takes place and we want it to send back here, right? Let's see, I wanna send it back to this step. So this is what we're doing here. They click here, it opens up another web page, and then immediately on this web page that the site bot's on, it goes back to this. So we're gonna do a live preview. I'm gonna show you how to really customize the images or the uh, colors and all that stuff. And then the same with this, okay? But this, if they click this button, they're gonna go here to this, um, this step, okay? But we need to also add a button here where they can go back. So I'm just gonna type in go back. And then um, let's see, we'll add a step because we don't want it to be a link, right? So we can we actually need to add something. And I'm trying to think now. Uh, let me just save changes here. And let's actually just go back to um, our site bot. So let's go to flows and let's go, let's see what I did here because I can't remember. Okay, so we just did a go back button and then it went back there. Okay, so we can do that. So let's go back to flows and let's go to visual marketing and design. And so now what we need to do is move this stuff around, just go back here. Okay. So now we really have the nuts and bolts here of our site bot. Okay. Um, let's actually just look at it right now and see what it looks like at this current condition. So we have, hello, thank you for contacting me. How can I help? We have hire me. So if they click hire me right now, it goes to my services page, which is exactly where I wanted to go. What about work with me? So if we click that, you see it opens a new window, talks about the training and stuff, and then not sure, text me. So there you see now we have a step. Okay, so now we have the answer there and you'll see um, it says text me with the number and it says click here to text. So let's see what that looks like. Okay, so now you can text me there and then let's see um, or click here to text. Okay, so you can do that. There we go. I already did that apparently. So, um, okay, so now the flow is good um, except we didn't go back like we're supposed to. If we, um, let's refresh this because we definitely, um, that's why it's so important to, to test. Okay, so if I click hire me and you go back here, oh, it did work. 
Okay, that's what I was looking for. So you see how you open up that new window there, but if they go back to the page, it really needs to go back to the home page. Okay, that's really, really important. It's a very important aspect of creating site bots. Um, so, okay, I'm going to X out of these windows. I don't have too many open. Let's actually go back to the flow builder now. And I want to show you how to customize all of this. You guys can really, really wow clients if you create one of these. And the cool part is, is it doesn't cost you anything more. That, that's so much what I love about Builderall. You can really provide the extra value for clients and you have all the tools already. It doesn't, it's not going to cost you. You don't have to get an extra tool just to over deliver. Okay. So let's actually go to, um, let's save our changes of course, and then let's go to settings. Okay. So here um, you'll see you have the ability to change the avatar in the chat. So what I want to do, um, if you are, if you're doing this for a client, you obviously want their build, um, their logo. But um, since this is just for me, again, I'll just pull up my, uh, we'll just look for a profile pick. So we'll just profile pick and let me choose a round one. So we'll just choose this one. Okay, so now we have uh, my image there, okay? So now moving to the right, you'll see now we can change the colors. So um, you can actually change the background color to another color if you want, just for, um, I will keep that actually white, or you can actually make it transparent. So if you see here, this actually has a transparent background. So as you scroll, you know, it's just positioned and, and just that the corner there, but it you can see the image behind that because it has a transparent background. So you can really do whatever you want to. Um, you can change the um, bot color just by clicking here. And um, again, there's another place, if you click here, because you know I'm a big fan of hex codes, um, if you toggle this switch here, you can, however you have your colors organized, um, you know, you can switch here and uh, make sure that you're getting the exact color. So since I use hex codes, I would just use the hex code and then paste it here and to ensure that I have the exact brand color that I want to use. Um, you can also change. So the bot bubble color is this color here. So that is what your site bot is going to text. Okay. So then the bot text color is this color, the color of the text on that little bubble. And then of course you have the button um, color here. So if you wanted to change that, you could, let's just look for purple because you know I love purple. Okay, so you could change that. And then, um, so all of these settings over here are for the site bot, meaning uh, the company, what it's going to look like when it responds to um, questions or, or action inside the site bot. Um, here you can uh, change the input text color. So these are all what the user is going to be. Okay. So um, I just like to black is fine. Um, you can change the button text color. So if you want where it says answer, if you wanted that to be a different color, you could choose that. Um, if you want to change the bubble color, like let's, um, again, you could use hex codes here, or you could just manually choose a color. Let's just say pink. Um, and then you can change the typing color as well. And do you see the blue um, three dots that are kind of like moving, like waving or what, however you wanted to describe that? Um, that's what that means. So if you wanted to change that, like maybe let's just change it to a darker color. Now you see that that changes, okay? So once you have everything set up how you want it, you can actually change the font as well and the size. So if you have a specific um, brand font you want to use, you could do that and the size there. Okay, so let's go ahead and click OK now and let's look at the preview. Okay, so we do have this um, gray background here, but for the sake of, you know, not making this training nine hours long and confusing you, um, I'll just go ahead and leave that there. But again, you know, we could go through all of this. All of this works great. But now you see um, where the colors are coming into play, right? So that opens up. And then again, you know, you have the the pink and then let's say, um, not sure, text me. And then here's that information. And then of course you go back to the main menu.
Okay, so now uh, once you've created your site bot, um, let me get to your questions here. Um, it says, Jason, okay, I finally got in here. Sorry, technically challenged. That's okay, Jason. This I, It's brand new today. Um, so I, I explained when when uh, I first went live uh, the, the different things, um, how you're going to basically get in here to do the training. Um, he says, sorry about your aunt. Uh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Um, and Jason says he can't spell either. I swear if it wasn't, I don't know if I was just always a bad speller or a spell check made me a bad speller. I'm not really sure. Um, one cool thing before we actually grab the embed code is you can actually check out the um, collected data here. So um, if you want to uh, get a report, it says how often to receive reports with new emails. So if you're collecting emails, you want to receive a report, you can do it in a wink, which means immediately, uh, every day, every week, or don't receive the report. And then you can, of course, export in a uh, CSV. Okay, so to get the embed code for this, we want to click embed code. Now you see that we have this iframe code here, okay? And it says iframe size should be more than 300 pixels by 500 pixels by height to prevent problems with the layout, okay? So that is kind of an important thing uh, to remember, okay? So um, once we have copied, you can you can either highlight just like I did or you can click copy here. Um, we'll click OK. Now let's go to a Cheetah website. Um, so we'll just go to Cheetah here. And let's just choose, um, we'll just choose a random website, maybe this one. I don't even know what this is. Uh, let's actually make sure that it's it looks like, oh, OK. Well, this is a old sample website, but let's say that I wanted to install my chat bot on this. OK, so uh, what I can do is click here to go to your page. Now, you will have to do this on each page. OK, but since we have the ability to save personal elements, you really only have to do this one time and then just copy and paste. All right. So I'm going to click add and we're going to go to elements now because i want this chat bot to be floating in the corner as they scroll like we did our client um, i want to show you how to do that so what we need first is a box and the reason that we need a box is because you can't pin images or anything like that in a corner like we want to do um, with our site bot so i'm going to just choose a box here and then i'm just going to choose this box let me just bring it here. Oops, and it's hidden. Let me move these things over here. Okay. So, all right, now I uh, let go, let go. Okay. So now I have my box here and it does have a purplish background um, or a shadow. I'm not going to worry about that right now because we are just trying to um, install this right so um, let's just make a box I like to make it about this tall and wide to test at first Let me move these out of the way all right so now that I have my box you'll see if you click here you have the ability to pin so that's the important part but let's go ahead and get our site bot on here okay so I still have the code um, on my clipboard, okay? So it's still hanging out there waiting for me to paste it in something. So we need an iframe element now. So I'm just gonna drag this iframe element to the box and I'm gonna go ahead and stretch this out just a little bit. This seems to be like my typical size here. And um, of course, with the iframe, you always wanna remember um, when you're done working with it to make it have no border there, okay? Because then it'll have like a dash around your iframe and it just looks unfinished. So now we have the embed code. Let's go ahead and just paste the embed code here and we'll click apply. And now you see my site bot already starts to want to work. All right. So you need to adjust this just like you would any iframe and make sure that the little scroll bars are gone. You see the scroll bars there. Just want to make sure that those are gone. So we'll just put this like this. And now what we want to do 
is pin this box into um, most people are customized or most people are trained to look in the bottom right corner there so but you could put you know you could pin an element anywhere you wanted to in this area or you can manually stick it somewhere so it really just depends on um, your purpose for using it so we'll click done and you see that it instantly goes there now let's go ahead and save and that's fine and now let's actually check out the live view of our site bot. So I'm going to go here, let's republish, and let's open up the live page. Okay, so now you see here is our beautiful site bot. So if you click, um, let's, so let's see, we'll click there, it opens up a new window, but you see it goes back here. So it's hire me and it goes back here. Now let's see this one. And you see, because this is going to a step, now it's going to um, stay in that window and just continue. So you guys can really use the site bot to really uh, be as advanced as you want to. You can go through an entire sales process or onboarding process and automate the entire thing. So um, there's so much potential. And if you wanna see um, what Shelly did, actually, if you click here, this site bot is created with the Builderall site bot tool. So you can actually, if you're brand new to Builderall, you can go click here, start here. You can actually also share this link with other people. You can also install this code on your website instead of, um, you know, creating one yourself. Okay, and let me just show you how to do that because I'm, I'm going to blow your mind here in a second. But you can see how advanced this site bot is but also it's just a lot of steps right so if you want to become an affiliate that opens up there and then here uh, what is your goal uh, use the tools for my business so you can see how um, another site bot how it just continues with the questions and all of that stuff so if you wanted to get this link for this site bot here's what you need to do you can actually right click in this iframe and you can go to view page source now, if you scroll down, let me see if I can find it. Um, if you scroll down here, you'll see the link and it'll say SiteBot and it'll be underlined. Um, but this does get kind of tricky. But I just wanted to show you that even though it sounds like, oh, here we go. So what I want to do is actually just copy this link right here. Okay. I'm going to copy. Now let's go back to our website and let's say, hey, we want to add, um, instead of this one, we want to add the builder all one. So what I'm going to do is delete this and I'm just going to put this here because that was a code I had and this is actually a link. So I'm going to click um, inline HTML because it just usually looks better and let's click apply. Okay, now hopefully that didn't make a lie. There we go. All right. So now let's actually move this over to our box. Hopefully it pops up there. Let me move this, the layering down a little. Oh, so it's it's wanting to hide between behind all the elements here. Okay, come back. All right, so you guys see, see what it looks like here, okay? Um, and it's not, I don't know what happened to my box. It just like, oh. I, this was a bad website to choose because I have so many layers of things on here. So I'm so sorry. I chose a bad website for you. Move this around. All right. So let's say, um, you know, for example, we don't technically need a box, um, but I like to put them in a box so that it pins and it scrolls with it. But let's say this is on a box. Okay. We'll click save and um, that's fine. And then let's look at the live view. Okay, so we'll go back to the website and let's refresh and our site bot should appear. Here we go. And now you'll see inside of the window here that we have all of those same options. Now I will tell you um, that you need to make sure if they reach this site bot, they're already a builder all uh, person okay if you're trying to use this as an affiliate you definitely need to make sure that they're already in builder all before they get access to this otherwise um, you're not going to get credit for the sign up okay there's no way to cookie this link 
Um, it needs to be inside of a membership area or something like that. Or you could even maybe redirect them, you know, do a magic funnel and redirect them here and say, click here to get started and then send them right here. So um, there are lots of options, but um, super, super cool that we have that capability. So um, Jason says, loving the layout of this training. Yeah, right, Jason, are you talking about the, um, like in the e-learning? Because I am so in love with that whole situation. I am so in love with the layout, being able to hold webinars on the main page of your e-learning. That's incredible. That is so incredible. I don't know any other platform that allows that. Maybe there are some, I don't know, but I've never seen it. Um, so anyway, that is all I have for you today. So I hope you really enjoyed this training. I think, um, I know it's not an advanced training, um, but it's definitely enough to get you started and start thinking about really how you can over deliver for your clients uh, with something like a site bot very, very simply. Um, and you you saw that I certainly am not a site bot uh, master, but I know enough to create a super simple website or a super simple site bot to um, you know be functional and at least hopefully help with the conversions um, of a website by providing information in a very simple way or easy access so anyway guys that's all I have for you today um, I'm going to be adding um, let me um, I made a note to myself. I'm going to be adding that um, button to our e-learning page as well so that you guys tomorrow when we do our Friday Q&A um, that you have the ability to log into Zoom and um, you know join me for the Q&A. So come loaded with questions because I'll be hopefully ready with the answers. Um, so anyway, guys, see you tomorrow. Same time, same place. Go build it with BuildRaw. Thank you so much for joining me for today's live training. Don't forget to text the word live to 1317-623-4596 so you never miss a training and click the link above or below this video to join the Builder All family.